I am working with these Electro Freaks breakout boards for the micro bit. This one's the motor bit. How I know that's because it's got the motor things here. I am hooking up a 1602 LCD screen. It's one of the things I don't love about the micro bit is they talk about scrolling messages across the um, their LCD array, but it's one letter at a time, and I just I hate reading that. Um, so I like the idea of being able to hook up a message board. And that's a 1602 16, means it's two lines and there's 16 um, characters on each line. And I'll tell you more about that in a moment. This is an IIC and, or sometimes called an I squared C device. And that's what I've been told to always get because it's easiest to hook up. It has four pins to plug into your your uh, microprocess microcontroller. It's got, got a whole bunch of other pins hooked up, and this stuff is already connected. As you see, these are all pins, anyways. Um, sometimes they come in kits, which you've got to solder all that if you want to, and that's fine. Um, but I like the ones that are already put together because I didn't feel like soldering. And that little blue thing on the back is actually an adjuster for the display for brightness and how it's coming out so you have to can you see the change sometimes it's hard to see the changes in the camera okay Now, that requires you have enough power, and that's why the breakout boards are nice. This is a 5-volt component, so these two breakout boards are good because they both have a switch. Um, the, I mean, two. There's another one I'll show you here in a moment. They have a switch to change this to 5 volts. How it gets 5 volts is because I'm putting, actually, right now, I'm putting in 9. I was putting in 6 before because I have also a coin cell that can plug into here um, but coin cells don't last very long so that was actually starting to dip because I was playing with it a bunch before um, you might want to get a double a four pack battery pack or a six pack battery pack because this can go between six and nine volts even says right there double uh, A's actually have more uh, more power in them they last longer than nines. Um, where to plug it in? Well, being an I squared C, you got to plug it into I squared C kind of stuff. If you read these things here, it says ground and VCC, so obviously we're talking ground and voltage, and then SDA and SCL, which those are I, I squared C things, I'm told. If you look on a pinout for a micro bit, on pin 19 and 20 are SCL and SDA. So you need to plug these into pin 19 and 20. Um, so that's why I'm able to plug it in there. So I've got one plugged in 19, one plugged in 20, and then also plugged into power and ground on the pinouts. Now I can also plug this into this other board, which is just a straight electric breakout board. And again, we got to go power and ground. Uh, just make sure you plug the right things in the right place. That's always important. And then let's see, my black is SCL and my white is SDA. <laughs> I'll talk about the code here in a moment, how I got it to get a message. Uh, and I need the micro bit, and I need power from my micro bit. So plug the micro bit in. I got this little double A power pack here. It's kind of like a USB, I always plug it in wrong. And you'll see it comes out. It shows up. Now, if I flip this switch here to three volts, you see it's not showing. Again, that's what's nice about the, the electric breakout board. Um, they've got a three, three volt or five volt switch. So that five volts gonna send five volts to the blue 
the three is always going to yellow, and these are getting five. Um, right here, this board is set to take I2C, I squared C components. It happens to be using pin 19 and 20, and that could be why you don't see a pin 19 and 20 written here on the board, because it's already set to be going to there. Uh, let's see, code. Oh, let's go back. Uh, again, I, I buy those on Amazon. Usually, I've you know again seeing them for two pack for five, for ten dollars, five dollars, so five to ten dollars. Again, make sure you're getting the I squared C code. You need to get an extension, and there's a maker bit, which is which is another um, six again, extensions up here. Go to extensions, and you look through extensions, or you put in. Like we know this is a 1602. And it pops up. Doo, 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 doo. Of course, when I do the video, it takes a little longer to pop up. Well, it, it popped up the maker bit extension before. And I added it, and it's got an LCD. MakerBit has a whole bunch of extensions for different things, servos and other things. Um, but this one gave me the LCD. There's the LCD. Show a string. Now, again, the board has two rows of 16. So the top row is 0 to 15. Again, numbers start with 0 in digital. And then the bottom row is 16 to 31. So I put one word up there and then two words on the bottom row. Um, I could have written it out any way you wanted. But again, you've only got 16 characters up top and 16 characters on the bottom to play with. So there is a 1602 LCD array plugged into a Electrix motor bit and an Electrix breakout board.